Hi, this is Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. Your home sold, guaranteed, or I'll buy it. Thanks for taking a minute to listen in. In a moment, I'll share with you some valuable information about this topic. Lofts with two bedrooms and parking spaces, and how to choose and find lofts with one bedroom, two, three. Same thing with parking, how to find lofts condos with one parking spot, two parking, three or more. We're going to show you all that. As I mentioned, uh, let's see, first of all, if you see any properties that are of interest to you, let us know. We will gladly send you a property information packet on any loft, condo, or house, or private preview is available upon request. If you have a home you'd like to sell, you should know that I will guarantee the sale of your present home at a price acceptable to you, or I'll buy it for cash. This guarantee will allow you to buy your next home without worrying about selling your present home. To find out how much you could sell your home for, call me at 213-880-9910 now. So on just about any LA Loft blog post, here's one from yesterday, where you could find, um, this is how you could find the two bedrooms, but you could also scroll all the way down under the for sale and for lease buttons. You can click on bedrooms right there. So click on bedrooms. And then you can find uh, lofts or condos that have, um, that is an all, all open loft, um, or that has uh, one bedroom with a door that closes, like this, or two or more, three or more, four or more bedrooms. So we saw some a couple lofts today that were did not have it, real bedrooms, but they were listed as two bedrooms because they were able to comfortably fit two beds in there and two, you know, distinguished. Uh, areas. So let's see if we can find one of those. One was in the Higgins building. The other was in the um, Arts District in the Toy Factory building. Let's see if we can find one of those. They were around 800,000 to 900,000. Seven hundred thousand to a million. Let's see here. So here's two bedrooms. Uh, we got the uh, eight hundred West First Street. That's Bunker Hill Tower. We got six hundred West Ninth Street, which is uh, right across the street from Ralph's Market and Market Lofts. And this one on six hundred West Ninth Street is the Skyline Condominiums. This one hundred First Alameda Street is the uh, condos called. Um, that one's called, uh, I haven't been to that one in a while, but I used to go there all the time. 100 South Alameda is in the Arts District right next to the Little Tokyo. Okay, and let's see if we can find um, something else here. There's Market Lofts, there's Flower Street, Skyline, 939. Uh, some here is going to be the Toy Factory. And also we're going to find the Higgins Unit. Hmm. Well, you can see there's no shortage of lofts with two bedrooms. But that's how you find the two bedrooms. Let's, let's find the two parking spaces. Just scroll down and click on the uh, parking and find them with two parking spaces right there. Parking. And then click on I need two parking spaces. Right there, boom. So that's the fastest way to find, and you'll find 71 condos and lofts with two or more parking spaces. All right. And so I mentioned the two lofts that did not really have two bedrooms, but they were called two bedrooms. The reason is because they were big enough. They were extra large. They could fit the bed areas comfortably. They had a little bit of separation between the two bed areas. And also, lofts are really designed to create whatever you want out of them. So people can do anything they want. They can call it whatever they want uh, when it comes to lofts. So my personal rule is I prefer to only list it as a two-bedroom if it either has two bathrooms or two parking spaces or if, they, uh, if it actually has two bedrooms with doors or if it says two bedrooms on the county records.